There is a special touch that has been added to the daily afternoon pad popping sessions of the UTA Mavericks. These young gladiators of the gridiron, when they're back in the dressing room, get the woman's touch. I feel like I'm here to do a job and to learn, and that's how the, the men treat me. It's something that I want to do. 20-year-old Rayla Allison of Fort Worth is one of two girls majoring in physical education who are working as trainers with the UTA football team. But they say it's strictly educational and good experience. You realize that you're probably doing something that many other girls in this campus would give their left arm to do? Wrap the legs of the guys on the football team? Yes, I do. What? Do you get any, do you get razzed about it? Oh, um, yeah, a few of them come up and, and say that they would like to be in my place. They offer to be substitute for you? <laughs> they offer, but I don't agree. Head trainer Bobby Lane says the presence of the girls hasn't created any problems, and in many ways, he feels like a pioneer. I talked to several other trainers that have uh, girls in their athletic training program, but uh, they had never let them work football before. So we're uh, uh, kind of pioneering in that aspect, I, I suppose, in this particular area, and it's worked well so far, no problems at all. Cleaned up the language in the locker room? Oh, it sure has. It's uh, improved all of us somewhat, and it's improved the scenery a great deal. I remember from my football days at Gaston Junior High in Dallas that winning football games were a gas, but practice sessions were a drag with two young co-eds around to caress and wrap their ankles and operate the whirlpool baths, perhaps the UTA Mavericks find the daily afternoon workouts a little more enjoyable. And although it's too early to tell, don't be surprised if the team suffers more than its usual number of injuries this season, because it's the girls back in the locker room who administer the TLC that a husky young fella needs. Doug Fox, Channel 8 News, the University of Texas at Arlington.